The challenges that I faced getting to college was that I was an undocumented first generation low income student. It was hard for me and my family because it was the first time around that we were going through this process. No one in my family had even graduated high school. This, we were the first of our family that are in the United States, so no one had no idea how to apply to college. I knew that I wanted to go to college. It was a childhood dream, but I didn't know how I was going to get there. I think that without, I think even if students have great grades, perfect SAT scores, amazing extracurriculars without support, no one can do it. Especially being first generation, I think that being part of a college access program is really what gave me the path that I used to get to college. One thing that I'm particularly excited about in our work at the Ed Fund is our dream and our vision to bring together many different folks from the community to work on addressing the problems that our children face in getting a decent education. And so I'm most excited about the opportunity that we have to bring together those community-based organizations, those foundations, those corporations, those faith-based organizations to see how together we can make a difference in addressing the problems that our children face. The Ed Fund has been acting as a convening organization for nonprofit organizations in West Contra Costa. We've been leading two big initiatives from the students across West Contra Costa. One is an out-of-school time initiative, working with nonprofits, working in the after-school and summer space. And the second is a college access initiative, trying to get more kids ready to go to college and off to college. And we really have been thinking as an organization, how can we best align all of the collaborative work in the community towards one big goal? How can we get more kids ready for college, to college, and through college, ready to succeed in life? Rider Coach Connection has been working over a number of years with the West County College Access Network of the Ed Fund to partner with them on how do we as a collaborative and partners give students skills so that they can get into college. And so we put our best thinking together. Our arm may be the college essays and personal statements, but when we go to work with our partners, we're together talking about what are the greatest needs in the community and how do we individually as organizations meet those needs? Gateway to College uh, recruits students who are dropped out of high school or pushed out of high school, failed in some way, brings them full time to the community college where they become successful uh, community college students. My main collaboration with Ed Fund is on the board helping to create a vision that be realized that way, but also in things like the College Access Network, working with nonprofits in the community who have a whole bunch of different uh, perspectives, whether it's early childhood, elementary, out of school time, all those things, bringing people together to figure out how we can collectively meet the needs of students who deserve the kind of support that we can all bring to bear. It's been great to share ideas about curbing summer learning loss and, and also working in a recreation environment, how Recreation is not mutually exclusive from learning, that they can recreate, have fun, and then also learn you know, in a project-based setting. We're trying to build a collaborative of partners from the community that will help ensure that, yes, while our students have challenges in college, that those challenges will be the kinds of challenges that are healthy for them, that are productive for them, that will make them a better student, that will make them a better member of society, but not those kinds of obstacles that too many of our students face that cause them to not finish. And that's what we want to turn around. That's the trajectory that we need to address. And so I'm really excited about the college access partners that we have, the partners that are helping to address what our kids need in order to get into college and graduate from college, the resources that they need to be successful with financial aid, and of course the academic piece. I'm very excited about that because when we have all of that in place in a very well-structured and positive way, then I'm confident that not only will this student succeed, but many, many more students will succeed. And that's really what it's all about. It's not just one student here and another student there. It's how do we change the system so that the vast majority of our students are going to be successful. I've been in and out of the hospital most of Jordan's life, and um, Jordan had to grow up very quickly. I didn't know what was going to happen for his future, what his dreams were, because he was taking care of me. I saw that he really wanted to be somebody, and I wanted to fight for him. 
So I got involved in a lot of the school programs, like, I mean, the um, school volunteering at the schools, and that's how we found out about all of these college programs that he could be a part of, and they could guide him and put him in the right direction so that he could accomplish his dreams again. He's been able to do that through the Ed Fund. They've met with him, they talked to him to make sure that he was on the right track. Jordan is at the California Jazz Conservatory in Berkeley. It's a private college. Jordan loves jazz music and he's a trumpeter. He wants to be a jazz composer and writer. Air Fun was the answer to our question. The Air Fun Bailey was absolutely wonderful. They prepared him for college. That one gap that I was missing, I had everything taken care of, but I just didn't know how to get him able to compete with the higher GPAs. And I can proudly say that Levante Hill graduated from John F. Kennedy High School, being the only African-American male to graduate with top honors from Kennedy High School. He now attends Sacramento State University, where he's been on the Dean's List for two years now, and he's majoring in kinesiology. Can you believe my son is tutoring other children? He said, like Bailey tutored me, Mom, I'm going to tutor others. So not only did the F1 help us prepare, Vontae for college, but she also instilled the value of helping others. Just my education in general has opened my eyes to so many things that are happening within society that I would have never imagined. My future plan is why well, I want to do so many things. Straight out of college, I think uh, I want to go back to Richmond High School and uh, be part of Teach for America uh, for two years um, as I'm going to grad school at the same time. And I just want to go back to my high school and provide what was given to me and if I can make some type of a change in my high school then I'm going to do it. 